Just got done with that last fish. Repositioned the boat. Was showing Jacob something. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm a little bit freaked out at the moment. I don't have any allergy pills in the boat, but it's almost like I've been splashed That's with weird. acid or yeah. something. Um, my skin is starting to like bubble up. Go. Get off your phone. My phone plays a huge part in what we're about to do tonight, Jacob. We gotta check the river levels. What do I always tell you? Check the river levels. Doesn't matter, we're gonna fish anyways. We're already out here. Mississippi River, we are in Wisconsin, and you know what that means. Bluegills for bait and two lines per angler. That makes us Minnesota guys very, very excited. Stay tuned, we've got a great Flathead episode for you today. That just got smoked. On the really heavy rod. Oh my god, this is the white sturgeon rod, Jacob. <laughs> got a seven and a half foot white sturgeon. I haven't caught a flathead on it yet. It's handling it easy, so it's not a huge fish. Ah. <laughs> when you can flip a flathead in with a fishing pole, you got yourself a heavy setup there. <laughs> Just about to leave. I just said, let's go. There we go. Flathead number one for the evening. <sighs> Easy, quick release. Throw them underneath the tree and we're out of here. Or does that warrant us staying longer? I'm not sure. Oh my God. Are you, what do I do? Set it. That's it. No! Oh, we got him! <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Like the world's fastest fish? We just said Oh my again. god! We should move. <laughs> I had Jacob set up a timer. So Jacob, what happened to that five minute timer? It's a good fish. I can't tell. No, it's nothing spectacular. Is that a double? I mean, it's another, it's the right shape, it's the right color. It's another hit. <laughs> Grab it. Grab Set it. that thing down. I don't ever want to leave this spot, Jacob. Oh, I pulled it right away from him. Oh. But I don't think he felt it. <laughs> wow. Every time we say it, all right, we're moving. Fish. Incredible. All right. So, a little flathead catfish. Got the hook out of the corner of his mouth. A lot of gigantic waves coming in right now. I'm actually going to protect the side of the boat from the log jam. Okay, let's see it. And do some acrobatics. There's the flathead, just a little guy. He makes me look huge. I <laughs> kind of go way to send him packing on his belly. Is Let's it my another. turn? Y you can have a turn. All right. I'll let you have a turn. I got the two small fish out of the way really quick. 10 minutes, two fish. One more live bait, put it out. Jacob's up. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yep. We're in the small zone. We found the dens. I just repositioned that. Blake told me to, to reel it all the way in, but I think I repositioned it right into this guy's mouth. Oh. 
another basser, but three flats in a night, that's a dang good night. I got a feeling this hook's right in the middle. I want to be careful. And oh, I don't like it. It's a big hook. There it is. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Blake, check this out. You can still see the bait in his mouth. We're gonna let him have this one, so. He's gonna gnaw on my finger. There he goes. Well, I think I get one more, right, Blake? One more? All right, I'm taking one more. Plan B, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. It is a downpour at the moment. We threw the top up, picked up baits, and we are moving on to plan B, flatheads in the rain. Stay tuned. What? There's a fish. Fish? Or like a really fast swimming stick. Oh yeah. my god. Ah! <laughs> He's done. What is that? I don't know. It was stuck up. It, it was uh, wrapped up into a log. That's why it wasn't moving. That's anymore. why it wasn't moving. Is it a bigger fish? It is. Oh, we got a lot of current and this is a heavy pole. Is that a channel cat? I don't think so, Jacob. I had on a bullhead. Follow me up here. And I will uh, land it. Oh, <laughs> that's a good little flathead. So, what happened there? Tell the story. Okay. Let's land the fish first for. <laughs> that's what happened. This thing got crushed. The rain has finally stopped. This thing just got crushed and we heard the clicker go off for about three, four feet, not much, and it stopped. Picked up the pole, felt it, didn't feel right. And it actually felt like if something had it, it dropped it. So I gave it another minute. And when I went to uh, investigate further, Jacob said, I don't think you have a live bait on there anymore. So, well, time to reel it up. It was wrapped around a log. I let off and I could feel something tug back. So I let off, the fish pulled it out of the structure, reeled it up to the surface, so I was a flathead. Pretty cool. You wanna do a little segment on how to uh, get a hook out? Yeah. Do you wanna shoot that with a cell phone? Yeah. Got a problem, folks. This fish is not bleeding, it's not in any mortal harm, but it has swallowed the hook. As we suspect, this thing sat down there for a little bit with the bait in its mouth. And it started digesting it, but we have a Northwoods Luke trick that we're gonna show you. Somebody showed him this and he showed us and it's become the new standard for getting that out. And these fish have a very large mouth a very large throat and a humongous stomach and an even bigger appetite. So what we're gonna do is push that hook forward into the fish's stomach, cup it with our fingers and pull our entire hand out concealing the hook point between our fingers and this fish probably won't even bleed. So there's not gonna be much viewing room so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh. There's no way your huge hand's going in there. Oh, absolutely. I do have a massive hand. I should have Jacob do this. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to push the hook further in, which is 
kind of contradictory to what you believe you should do. Rotate the hook a little bit and pull it out. It's that easy. If you look in there, no harm, no foul, no blood. Beautiful. Um, really resilient fish. That's a nice rainy day flathead. Nice fish, man. Yeah. Rainy, I mean, nice day then turns into rain. He's gone. And he got me. Bit me pretty good. It's not gonna show up for a little bit. Let's see. Ah, uh, you can't tell. All they do is scrape you, really. It'll it'll bleed out in a minute. I'll quit whining. That was a lot of fun. We gotta Let's move get some more. We gotta move the anchor slipped. Yes we do. So finally stopped raining. Let's get some more, bud. There's hope. Just got done with that last fish. Repositioned the boat. Was showing Jacob something. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm a little bit freaked out at the moment. I don't have any allergy pills in the boat, but it's almost like I've been splashed That's with weird. acid or yeah. something. Um, my skin is starting to like bubble up. Um, pretty much everywhere where that flathead's teeth touched me. So across my knuckles, big scrape right there, right there, right back there. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> the swelling has continued to increase. And something really bizarre is happening. Like I know I'm moving my hand, but I can't feel my fingers. Shut up, really? I cannot, no, not really. Like, do we need to go somewhere? We need to Google my symptoms, let's WebMD this in a fishing boat. What is up with that? I don't know. Like, it doesn't hurt. No? No. Do you feel it like Yeah, puffing? yeah, no, I can feel it in my hand, but what I'm saying is like topically, it doesn't it doesn't have like sensitivity. I'm just wondering if that antibody, I don't think that stuff could be bad, you know? Right. But my hand is going numb. It's like starting in my fingertips and kind of working down. Well, I still need to catch a fish. You're so. going to have to. My reeling hand is going numb. <laughs> You're going to have to. And I'll one hand the camera. Oh the show God. must go on. The show must go on. The rain is done. All right, so what's happened? Have we called the police yet? No, we're no. not going to either. No? Swelling has uh, just kind of remain the same, but I can feel my fingers. That's good. That's what had me worried for a minute. Um, no, now, now all the bugs are coming out, so it's just getting uncomfortable from head to toe. If any of Swat our viewers bugs, know what that is, let us know. Let what, us know. What could have possibly occurred from getting scraped by a flathead's teeth that would have... Uh, you think it was a scrape or you went all the way in his... I pushed it into his stomach. Yeah. But then I caught it across the knuckles on this hand too. So oh, okay. It was like everywhere that came in contact with the fish. Weird. weird. I'm not sure. One more Hope look. It doesn't happen again. Sideways. That's weird. It's super weird. Send your prayers. We've just made a pretty big move. Uh, we've shifted to the area that we intend on fishing tonight. We're gonna anchor up. We're gonna get our baits in the prime positions as the witching hour is upon us. Which one?
Is there like surges of current that's going on here? No? Oh, that white one's gonna go, isn't it? Oh, no, that was a fish, right? Yeah. Get sticky back in there. All right, I'm taking him. Oh, jeepers. Come on. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, surfacing right in front of the log jam. I got him out of it. I finally got that fish. He'd been playing with me all night. We finally moved in on him, and I got him. I got him. <sighs> that was super cool. Oh. Fishing tight to wood, got to get them out right away. And this is, I would say, probably a great fish to end the night on. A nice, solid flathead. Ah, oh, look at that. I mean, not the biggest we've ever seen. However, we came out here for flatheads. We're ending the night. I think it's about time to end of the night with a flathead and I've just had an awesome time tonight. So I guess the moral of the story today is move your spots, fish heavy wood, and when you do, get those fish out of there quickly or they're going to snag up. So from Northwoods, Blake, myself, Check us out, hit that subscribe button. We're, uh, we're gonna keep giving you these fish. We're gonna keep fishing, and we're gonna keep filming. Oh, what a great night of fishing, man. See you later. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You don't have many flathead nights like that. I know a few of them were you know, a little bit smaller, but to catch a lot of flatheads in one night, it's a great night. I think uh, Blake's hand healed up and we're out of here.